in the late 340s AC. Jaehaerys Blackfire, Prince of the Vale and heir to King Gerald, married his young aunt Raelinor in a grand ceremony in the Eyrie's courtyard. King Gerald brought his dragon, Neritos. The teenage couple enjoyed playing with the little critter, chasing it around the castle. After the wedding, King Gerald appointed his namesake, Commander Gerald Carlet, to train his son in military strategy. Something the boy had shown some aptitude for, even if his skill with the sword left something to be desired. In 351 AC, one of the Blackfire's most loyal vessels died. Lord Paramount Stefan the Rethian of the Stormlands had served as Hand of the King and Master of Coin for decades, even serving under King Daemon, but had suffered from cancerous growth, which killed him at age 69. He was succeeded by his grandson, Aegon Baratheon. Lady Paramount Ella Tyrell of Westerlands and Reach, another vessel who had been a fixture in the Iron Throne for a generation, was murdered by a disloyal vessel at age 46. She was succeeded by her son, Daemon Blackfire, which meant that with Aegor Dragonskill in the Riverlands and Prince Jaehaerys in the Vale, Blackfire is now controlled four out of the Seven Kingdoms. But despite the strong position of House Blackfire, there was no harmony between its members. Rhaegar Blackfire, husband to the late Ella Tyrell, left to join his brothers Jainar and Matarys at Castle Black. Though ostensibly the Lord Consort did this voluntarily, he was known to have committed murders, and some suspect he left for the wall to avoid persecution. Three sons of Daemon were now serving as brothers of the Night's Watch, and only King Gerald himself remained in the realms of man. The relationship between King Gerald and his son Jaehaerys of the Vale was also as strained and difficult as it had always been. The ambitious, proud king, obsessed with the prestige of his house, had always had high expectations of his heir, never satisfied with the boy's patient, temperate nature. Even when the boy came to swear fealty to his father, the king mocked him relentlessly, telling him in no uncertain terms what he was doing wrong. Some say they spotted tears rolling down Prince Jaehaerys' cheeks. Paranoid that his father would come find him, the prince ordered his doorway to be bricked in, and cursed out his entourage when they protested. This erratic behavior was not unusual for Jaehaerys. Some say the man had been driven mad by his father's constant mockery. It was about six months after these events when Queen Alisan died of an infected old wound. The wise and authoritative, though not always just, queen had served the realm as master of laws for decades and had been King Gerald's constant loving companion. Devastated, the king took to the bottle in a major way disappearing from the keep he had so diligently expanded, and into the streets of King's Landing, where he reportedly indulged in a night of drinking and visiting body houses to enjoy the company of male escorts. The King's cousin, Agor Dragonskill, the Lord Hand, sent out a search party the next morning, but it was too late. The King was found with his face down in a puddle, with a bottle of fortified Dornish Red in his hands. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jejo Gaming and welcome back to the Blackfire playthrough with our very own soundtrack, which you can hear in the background. Yes, and welcome back to your boy, Jaehaerys the Indolent of the Iron Throne, the lunatic, paranoid, rude, but also charitable, patient and temperate new king. Uh, our father last episode died only days after his, I guess only one day after his wife died. So we are an orphan now. But we're 21 years old, and we have a dragon, Neritos of King's Landing, who is 7 years old, for Marshall. He is going to be ready for the Dragon Conquest CB uh, shortly, I would say. I guess it's another 6 years or so. After that we can really go to town. But for, for now, I think our main, our main uh, danger comes from our own family. It comes from uh, Lord Paramount Damon, who has a strong claim. On the Iron Throne and, has, uh, and controls a massive chunk of land. It also comes from, as some of you guys rightfully pointed out, and something I, I missed, is it also comes from uh, Lord Paramount Melis, who does not only control the Vale, but is also married to the heir to the north. <laughs> She's the heir to the north, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, I guess not. What is the... Um, 
Magnetic, okay, I see. I, I guess maybe they changed that. That's lucky for us, though. <laughs> that means that uh, the wife of one of our main rivals will not inherit another Lord Paramountcy. Uh, the Karstarks will remain in charge, I suppose, here. We will offer them a non-aggression pact, though. Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay. Political concerns. That is tricky. Okay, well, <laughs> nothing we can do about that, I guess. Uh, what about you? Can we offer a non-aggression pact with you, uh, Damon? No. Now, uh, maybe, if we send him some money. We really need to get this guy on our side, so... I really do want a non-aggression pact with him. Anything else we can do, my man? Uh, you're a pretty shit guy, otherwise. Could maybe give you... Uh, make you a small council advisor. Maybe give you a little artifact. Do we have anything that's not particularly useful? A claim fabrication speed. I mean, we're not really going to fabricate claims ever. So you can have that, I guess. Uh, yeah, we are having the funeral of our dad and our mom. I will spend lavishly on food. Ah, let's just spend, spend enough. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure it, it can give you gluttonous if you spend a lot. What a splendid object. 100 opinion. Okay, how about now? Still no. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Please don't join any factions, man. I got a family. Oh, we do have a crown loyalist. Oh, Melis is in a crown loyalist faction. I mean, we did give him the veil. So I guess our plan worked to make him uh, make him a loyalist by giving him, giving him a lot of land. So that's some good news, at least. I just hope independence for Torwin of the Iron Islands. Well, screw you, Torwin. We don't care about you. I'm mostly scared of Damon, though. We are really trying to placate this guy with... I mean, he is honorable, I guess. I think honorable does prevent you from joining factions. So that's actually pretty pretty nice. Well, let's see if we if we live. Let's first have the funeral of our dad. We need a new Kingsguard member. Who died then? Oh, we don't know yet. Okay. Uh, bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Sir German Carswell, he's a pretty knightly character. He's even refusing marriage. He really does want this job. Sir Garmin, it would be the highest honor to join the King's Guard. Let the fleet of feasting commence, people. It is hard to see past the real selfish motivations behind Stefan's fumbling attempts to gain my favor. Despite his best efforts, I feel no more warming up to him than I would to a burned out candle. I, wish, I just wish he would stop. I mean, Jerry's would just tell him that. Like, uh, just stop, man. <laughs> just give it up, you prick. I'm rude, right? Uh, Lord Conrad Grafton used his, used his attendance. Uh, he wants, to, wants me to, in, to arrest Sir Dennis of Greenfield. Honorable man. Uh, do you have any proof of this blackmail, my man? I don't think so. So she's clearly, he's clearly not guilty. A petitioner <coughs> by the name of Sir Howard Emmerwick requests a small grant of coin and lands where he claims to have served loyally in the war against North Weald. North Weald. He wants a little bit of cash. For having served us. Uh, we're charitable, so sure. Here you go, man. Um, Lord Archibald Fowler used his attendance to, uh, of the feast. Uh, in King's Langton's petition. He gave Sir Marlon Crane. So it is honor by having illicit relations. That's a fine end, right? <laughs> Page it recompense, my man. My feast is ruined. Lamprey Pie made a fine course of my feast. However, my vessel high sapped in the 32nd. Enjoyed it too heartily. And got a piece stuck in his throat. The guests frantically try to save him, but as his face turns a sickening blue, everyone realizes he's going to die. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. The High Septon uh, choked on a piece of meat at my dad's funeral feast. My man, why? He ruined the dignity of my of my father, man. Uh, my queen can be the master of loss. Or this Hayford character. Or Damon, I guess. Yeah, let's have my wife do it. Damon, my man, do you want another aggression pact already? Nope. <laughs> We're gonna die, aren't we? Um, well, we do have a dragon, though. We are well, the only the only person in the Blackfire family to actually have a dragon. Uh, Sir Willis Mellister has another attendance. He claims that this guy had his kinsman murdered. Uh, you don't have any proof, I don't think. Uh, this is blackmail. No proof. Uh, Lady Calaria Bulwer. Uh, uh, she claims that Sir Stephen Longthorpe had uh, his kinsman murdered. And this guy is dishonorable, so probably he did it. Let's imprison him. He's awaiting his faith. Call him for trial. Trial by combat. Alrighty. Um, illicit relations behind his back. That's a fine one. 
Uh, I will select some of the sand for my king. Servant Baratheon. Thaddeus. Thaddeus Dunn. I think he um, he was our guardian for a while, right? At uh, Over at the Ville. He trained us in the art of combat. He didn't do a very good job. But he did train us. So, uh, yeah, why, uh, why don't you fight this man, uh, Thaddeus? King Gerald Blackfire died from too much drinking on 7 Fort Moon. 357 at age 57. He was a man who was remembered of being as fond of wine and ale. Being fond as being fond of wine and ale. Merely a competent swordsman, not a warrior. Songs are written off. Built a black fire and was and famously was known to be a dragon rider. Yep, he, he sure was. I don't think he ever rode his dragon though. It was too small. I'm just gonna quickly yeah. <laughs> I am still recording, so that's good. Um it's fun to be guilty. Send him to the wall. Alright, everybody done? <laughs> everybody done with this uh, this first sort of uh, batch of, uh, of of courtiers? A batch of uh, lawsuits? Hope you guys are done. We are, we need to focus on the... Uh, we can imprison Lady Lord Paramount Aegon the Merciless, Brethian. Why, man? What, what have you done? He wants to become Master of Arms, that's fine, actually. So Thaddeus the Fearless. Oh no, let's have Sir Thaddeus uh, continue to be Master of Arms. Well, no. I guess we do need the loyalty. Here you go, my man. Aegon the Merciless, you can be Master of Arms. He's 20 Marshal, so that makes sense. Obtain a greater throne. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> that's that's not good. Are we... Can we... Are we closely enough related to you to offer a... Uh, Non-aggression pact? I guess not. We could marry Brella Storm. You have three bastard kids? No, you have one bastard kid. You have Talena of the Stormlands. Can we marry you maybe to my son Ares? Or my brother ja Jacaris? Could do that, I guess. Would be a nice alliance. Sure. Thank you. Why don't you... Ah, it's not a aggression pact. Okay, that's good at least. We really need to focus on the diplomacy right now. Else we will be overthrown immediately. Damon, how oh, Damon joins the loyalist faction. Oh, that's good. We, we we placated him, I guess. I mean, we did send him a ton of money. We gave him a very valuable book. We made him a small council advisor. So it make it makes sense that he becomes a loyalist. But it, well, we we really needed him to become a loyalist as well. We also should uh, should have a look at Dorn though. Uh, Quentin of Pep is the heir, and uh, his heir is probably going to be Bernard of Pep. Mm, can we betroth you to my sister? Matrinelli? Yes. Let's do that. Well, we have to focus on uh, getting Dorn in line as well. Yeah, because this guy, they, 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 they switched to Magnetic Cognetic, yeah. So this guy is, is the heir, and then probably this boy is the heir. So it might be this girl as well, but he's, she's already married to a Blackfire, so that's also gonna. Uh, either way, even if they switch succession laws. Eventually, if all goes well, a black fire will inherit Dorn, but it's another two generations down the line, so uh, we're not quite there yet. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna murder this uh, this woman either. She's 64. She's stressed. She will be dead soon anyway. I will order Princess Jeanette to stand down. No, I don't care. She can do what she wants. Peasant revolt. Blasted traitors. Vicious rumors removed. Ah, nice. That's plus 10 opinion for everybody. That's very uh, useful. My wife is pregnant. Very nice. And my first son died of the dreaded plague somehow. I think I remember that. Warden of the North. We can give that to Rickard Karstark, who has changed his, succe his succession law in such a way that we will never inherit. So thanks for that, I guess. Queen Sabbath High is a very pretty girl, though. So I don't think Melis is too unhappy with it. She uh, she looks like uh, like Lea uh, Lyanna Stark with the blue uh, the blue uh, blue roses here. Warden of the East. We'll of course give that to Melis. It's Melis. Yeah, he's my Master of Whispers, right? Yeah. How does how does our council look? Agor Dragonskill is still the hand of the king after all these years. I'm pretty sure he's been hand of the king since he was 20 or something. So this guy is a very very experienced man. Although I don't know how long he will live. He's got gonorrhea. He's a lunatic like me. <laughs> so I guess we uh, we like each other a bit. Can we oh, offer another question back? Let's do it. Hmm. I don't know if we will be able to. Uh, we could give him some money, I guess. 100 gold. It's a lot, but if it gives me a non aggression pact, I'm happy with it. No, it doesn't. Okay. That's a shame. 
I think so far we're we're doing fine. Let's just keep an eye on our dragon though. See if it see if it will grow up uh, to be big and strong. Segregated wards has been built in the refuge of King's Landing. Very nice. So we are gradually building up our refuge here. A daughter was born, named Alison, zero-year-old daughter. Should we marry the two kids? Keep the bloodline clean? Sure. <laughs> it's maybe not the best, most strategic marriage, but uh, it's been a while since we've had a good uh, Targaryen incest marriage, so let's do it. The walls under assault, and the Night's Watch is hard pressed to defend it. They're fighting the kingdom beyond the wall. It's an actual kingdom this time. Hagon. Mara Watcher. Mara Watcher, yes, we will ride north at dawn, my, my dude. Let's just raise some uh, troops here in the north. 10k should be enough. We all need it ourselves. Yeah, I think that, that's fine. We are we are kind of a warrior, right? And so one thing we're good at is fighting. Well, I say that. We're good at strategy. We're not really good at fighting. But uh, we, uh, we would like some combat experience. We were trained by, uh, by Gerald Carlet himself and by, uh, by the most famed fighter in the land... Uh, Oh, we, we, we replaced him, but uh, Thaddeus, Thaddeus Dunn. Thaddeus the Fearless. You carry his gain to learning, my brother. Very nice. He's turning out really well as well. You betrothed him, betrothed him to the Lady Talena. And he might become an even better Spymaster than Melis at this rate. Might want to uh, appoint him Spymaster. Let's see about that. Uh, Parent Aegon. Aegon the Merciless, is that, uh, is that, uh, oh, that's him, that's the Brachian guy. Hmm. Let me just think about that, because we married, we might want to imprison this guy and give the Stormlands to my brother Jacaris, who is married to the heir to the Stormlands anyway. I think that would go over well with the realm, let's think about that, but let's defeat uh, these, these wild walkers, w uh, wild walkers first. Not white walkers, just regular wildlings. Wild walkers. <laughs> Breeding dragons is a dangerous game, but you have managed to obtain a new clutch of dragon eggs from the Rytos. I'm an adept dragon breeder after all. Yes. Great, we've got a dragon egg. Let's give that to our uh, our kid, Ares. Hello. I have a dragon egg. Egg is placed in young Ares' bed, hopefully prompting it to hatch. Here you go. As is now Blackfire tradition, tradition, you have young Ares sleep in his bed. With his new dragon egg. If a dragon is hatched, it will be a sign that the child is indeed a true Blackfire. I think it will take a few years before something will, ha will happen there. Okay, here we go. We have uh, nine and a half thousand troops. We are fighting them ourselves with our dragon. So we should we should gain a lot of uh, morale morale damage for that, right? Yeah, plus four martial as well. Dragon rider, yeah. So this this should be an easy fight, but let's let's hope. Uh, it turns out that way as well. Who died? My master of coin died. Your vessel was appointed to the most devout. Oh, this is uh, no wait. This is um, this is the uh, the guy who we gave King's Landing to. I think. Why can we not? Oh, he's he's incapable. I guess Runsford Hunt, our loyal master of coin, seems to be incapable. Let's see if we have anyone to replace him. Ah, we have Gaiman Blackfire, Lord of Messy Zook. Of course, Gaiman. You are now the third Blackfire. No, the fourth Blackfire on our council. <laughs> Very nice. We've got a full family uh, full family council. And they all, they all seem to like me just fine. So maybe, uh, maybe things are not as bad as they seem. Ah, easy peasy. We don't even need to deploy that dragon in battle. I don't really want to because I think he's still a bit too weak. Let's chase him down to white tree. Thank you, uh, cousin, for this money. Is he my cousin? I thought he was my second cousin. Pretty sure he is. Aegor Dragon Skill? Yeah. He's my second cousin. Dagar. See when now uh, an Aegor Dragon Skill will die. He's been with uh, he's been a very very much a fixture of our playthroughs for at least ten videos, maybe even more. Let's chase down these wildlings behind the wall. MG Harry's. Ah, no, okay, runs for died. Now we can give away the uh the, the Lordship of King's Landing. Let's see who we'll give it to. I think we will just do it like this. We don't really have any particular guy to uh, to give it to, I think. Do, uh, dee, 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 dee. 
these songs really fit well. Yeah, there's, there's one or two that are a bit a bit too bombastic for CK2, for background CK2 music, but most of them fit fit really well. This one, I think, as well. Uh, okay, mock me, mock me in battle. Could have sworn I heard the enemy commander John barking orders, but as I switched the forest, he is nowhere to be found. Fellow soldier finally informs me that he's been spotted cowering in fear behind a hollow tree, and most disgracefully behind his troops. I'll let everyone know of his cowardice. You coward. You coward. Um, he will go to Castle Black. Let's wait for him to lock and, and intercept him at the wall. We have Tyson of Castle Black versus Thaddeus. Ah, Thaddeus the Fearless. And Ada met as uh, enemies in a duel. They fought each other fiercely. Mr. Thaddeus prevailed in the end, forcing Ada to yield and handing her over to you as a prisoner. A giant girl. Okay, we are up north. We are sieging down White Watch. 94%. Little army here of wildlings. That's 100%. You're welcome, Mr. Night's Watch, sir. Uh, sir Richard Tarth died at age 55 under suspicious circumstances. Let's find somebody else. 95, wow, and a formidable fighter. Welcome, Jared. Welcome to the King's Guard. I'm sure you will be loyal and true. Alright. That's that. We defeated the King Beyond the Wall, and this, uh, his kingdom has uh, disintegrated again. That is good. Um, Summerhall. My master of coin lord Gaiman has been working has been hard at work in Summerhall. He's not even in Summerhall. I don't know what he, what he's doing there. But uh, should we do we need to repay any loans? No, we didn't take out any loans, right? Let's imprison a boy Aegon the Merciless because we want to give his land. Hey, oh, this is the uh, we want to give his land to my brother, who hates me. Wow. Did not give me title. Ah, screw you, man. Screw you. We will, we, will, we, will, we will give you a title, don't you worry. We'll do that. We will rectify that right now. Uh, Lord Aegon the Merciless, you stand accused of, I don't know what. <laughs> I guess maybe trying to kill me or something. In prison. My guards failed to capture Lord Paramount Aegon, who has now raised his flag in rebellion. Two arms. But we already know that we have, um, we have a couple of loyalists, so they will probably join me. I hope. Uh, but... Let's not underestimate this guy. Let's just raise all our troops as soon as we can. Keep our dragon intact. Uh, we will replace... Jakaris are my brother. Yeah, you can be my end of the king. That's fine. We're fighting for you. Mortimer Stokeworth. Uh, this guy. Alright. Uh, that's fine. Ah, okay. So Lord Paramount Ego Dragon Skills joining. Jeanette Martel is taking sides with the rebels. Ouch. Lord Paramount of the Reach has joined, King of the Vale has joined, and some random lords. Okay, so we, we will be fine, but this is a big war, though. The North has not joined. They have stayed neutral, it seems. Oh, they have joined the, uh, joined the, uh, joined the, joined the attackers. Oh, this is a big war, though. Wow. <laughs> I guess we kind of, I guess it makes some sense, because we kind of, we are, for one, we are lunatic. And uh, two, I think, I, th I think we feel a need to prove ourselves. We feel a need to, uh. Step out of the shadow of King uh, Gerald the Eagle. And uh, do our own thing. Okay, people. Everybody. Um, Lord Paramount Agor. Your forces should join me. King Melis as well. Lord Paramount Damon, you can do your own thing. You have such a massive army. I'm sure you will be able to make yourself, uh, make yourself useful. Bernard of Pep is currently under my control. And his relative Princess Jeanette Martel is currently opposing us. He's married to my sister. It's not his fault. We will keep him... Uh, I guess we can put him under house arrest. If it will give me some war score. Yeah, let's imprison him. Quentin of Pep as well. Let's imprison him. Surin Baratheon. We can imprison him as well. I think that's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea because he is a uh, Baratheon. Uh, Lucos of Pep. Yep. Prudence of Pep. Yep. The whole Pep family. <laughs> They're all imprisoned. We'll probably release them later. Yeah, I shall be merciful. We have no personal uh, vendetta against you, uh, Baratheon. We only want your uh, your family member to uh, remove himself from the uh, throne of the Stormlands. Lucos of Pep. Yep, you can be uh, in house arrest. That's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Under house arrest. That's fine. Crest is an audience with you. He wants to pay off his ransom. 75 gold. That's a lot, actually. Serve in the Laughing Storm. Sure, why not? Armies of Ego, Dragon Scale, and uh, Melees, right? Of the Vale? Yep. 
people, please join me. We need your, uh, we need your, uh, your, your aid in this endeavor. We will go down to Storm's End, I think, and uh, start besieging it. Teddy is the fearless. We'll join us at the right flank. Alan Rudiger, 77-year-old man. Yeah, I, I was going to say, this guy has been in our Kingsguard for ages. That's cool. Let's move down. Let's intercept these Baratheon scum. They only have 10,000 troops, so we should be able to... We don't want him to, to join up with the Dornish, though. We have to intercept them. 26k, though. Ah, I think we can still do it. We have dragons. Let's intercept the Stormlanders here in uh, Broad Arch for the first major battle of the war. 10k troops. He split up his army, the idiot. <laughs> there we go. 5,000 enemy combatants dead. We bear the sword. We indeed do bear the sword. Um, let's go after this guy as well. Should we... Now we won't accept, I guess, this other army we just defeated. Uh, we can send him against... Lord Permit Aegon now, that's fine. Uh, Lord Permit Aegon Bratheon's loyalty is one thing. Uh, throw him in the cells. Uh, Valiant just steps up to defend you from this Oathbreaker. Oh dear. Is he gonna kill me? Thankfully, Sir Harris proved his valor by defeating your assailant. He was trying to kill me. The Levate capture is imprisoned. You fucking prick. Execute this man. He's, he's been trying to kill me. Bye bye. Fuck you. <laughs> man, he almost killed me there. <laughs> Alright, Harris, what is it? It is rumored that a great warrior from the distant east is currently passing through Broad Arch. He is said to have taken part in a hundred battles or more, and his legendary fighting skills are supposedly without peer. Perhaps he could be persuaded to pass on some of his knowledge to you. Yes, please. I think Serbin's skull would look fine on my mantelpiece. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> uh, Iron Islands, please join me. Skull of Sir Serwin. Okay, Dagar. Okay, I guess Agar Dragon Skill died. Yeah, he died. Ego Dragon Skill, our, our faithful hand of the king for uh, for decades, has died of gonorrhea and has been replaced by his much less competent son, Dagar uh, Dragon Skill. That's cool. We're all in my legions. Okay, so the Iron, the Iron Islands has also joined us. Good question on behalf of the Iron Bank of Bravos. I wish to offer you a loan with terms. I'm sure you'll find favorable. 10%. Uh, that's not a lot. But I have no need for a loan. Every night since he was given it, my son Ares has been sleeping with this dragon egg, but it has remained cold as the months slip by. We have given up hope of it hatching anytime soon. I think it will hatch at some point. This peasant revolt has been defeated. Let's execute this man. He was taking advantage of me. Feed him to my dragon, yes please. Yes, let my dragon devour him. <laughs> Is my dragon already uh, strong? Seven. Seven Marshal, that's good. We could deploy it in the siege, I guess. Siege of Dragonstone? Oh, the Dornish are besieging Dragonstone. Why is this minus 49%? Oh, he controls all their holdings, right? That will be... That will hopefully change soon. Can we deploy our dragon in the siege? You put your dragon at risk. Yeah, let's let's just wait. At some point we will, uh, we will be able to uh, besiege... Uh, that besiege down Storm's End, right? We are almost done besieging, um, besieging. Okay, so we have we are we have found this old man who's going to train us very well, Jahari's son. I promise, teach. You promise, learn. I say you do. No questions. Sure. <laughs> everybody wants to give me loans. <laughs> we don't need any loans. I guess everybody just hates the Dornish or something. Uh, the old warrior from the east has settled down in your castle. In my siege camp, I guess, uh, is what the game means there. Your training is proceeding well. One day, as you walk into his room, you see the man trying to catch a fly with a pair of small wooden sticks. He insists on using whenever he eats. You inquire why, and he explains, Man who catch fly with chopstick, accomplish anything. What? Train fighter, nice. We are training a bit. Almost besieged uh, Storm's End. Let's see, we can win the war, right? Yep, let's... Uh, Make that our, uh, our our next target. Uh, we need all prisoners. Yep, sure, why not? 14% only. We did besiege down Storm's End. Let's intercept some of these other troops, though. Excellent. 
Okay, a big, big battle here in the parchments against, I think it's a, sort of a amalgamation of troops from the north and maybe some of the uh, of the Stormlands. Learn how you pop, pop punch after you learn how to keep dry. You all right behind here, skilled fighter. No, I'm not a skilled fighter, that's a shame. Uh, Lord Commander, we need a new Lord Commander. This guy, I'm sure he will be loyal and true. We need the greatest knights in all the realm. Orwain, sure. We have no time for this, guys. It's always always during war when the, games, the game decides to just bombard you with pop-ups. Right, Vedanor is pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Oh dear. I'm paranoid, I guess. So it's probably fine. I think, I'm pretty sure if you're paranoid, you will always get this event whenever your wife is pregnant. That besets me. Let's go down to here. Hire someone to find out. Sure, I'm paranoid. Fuck off. It, this pop-up is just every month it's here. It's very annoying. <laughs> Oh, hey, we have... Free oh, but, oh, dear. Your great from, news from the Battle of Haystack Hall. We have reports that your brother, King Melee's Blackfire, has been killed while leading troops in the battle. Died in battle against the forces of Kaisar. That is indeed grievous news. Luckily, my nephew, Vagar, is still alive. And he is joining me. Okay, Melee's died. That's a shame. Because he was one of the few loyalists we had. Oh, well. What can you do, eh? Uh, excellent. I don't care. J leave me alone. 28%. Why is it only 28%? Oh, they, they hold a shit. They hold, they hold a, a bunch of uh, occupations over in Dragonstone. You might want to uh, resiege those. We made a hire to gain my wife. Relinor's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious. Hire more spies. Yeah, I'm paranoid, right? We try again to become skilled fighter. But we failed again. Okay, well, we did besiege Storm's End, but it didn't seem to really help with the war score, if I'm honest here. Hmm. We will wait for some of our allies to, do to join us here. I thought we, we told you guys to join us. We have all the minor houses here. Join us. People, we need an, arm we need an army to uh, march down to Storm's End again. Let's head down to Storm's End again. Kill these St Kar Stark pretenders armies. Relief Storm's End. Leave me alone, Jesus Christ. These, these pop-ups, man. Thirty-three percent. Let's just occupy a bunch a bunch of stuff. That's probably a good idea. 37%. We're getting there slowly but surely. Um, here's an army. They're joining. They're attacking the army of Lord Rolf of the Reach down here. Um, but we should continue just storming places, I think. That's probably the fastest way to do this. 5,000. A new daughter was born named Jill. But uh, it might, be not, might not be my daughter. A lot, of t a lot is happening, but I just want to win want to win this war for now. It's time for me to choose how I want to educate my Prince uh, Ares Blackfire. Room for command. Spent highly. I mean, we are at war, so we really want, we, uh, we should train our son to be a mighty warrior as well. I think I will train him myself. I'm a brilliant strategist, right? Yeah, so that's probably a good idea. Although I am uh, a lunatic, I guess. Come on, capture this man. Where, where is he even? Oh, he's in hiding. What a coward. Not a big battle. 40%. Man, this is going very slow. Very slow slow going in this uh, this epic uh, conquest. Uh, I guess also we need to re-siege some of uh, Dragonstone, but I think my personal levies are a bit too small for that, yeah. We need help with that, and uh, I'm pretty sure that there's a big army here on Dragonstone, that uh, will prevent us from doing that. Diligent for Ares, that's good. At least my my son is turning out decently. Fool has only made things worse. Oh, you, my wife, why would you do this? Why would you do this? We're already fighting for three years. <laughs> this is one of the largest wars we've ever fought. Maybe we should head down to Sunspear. I think that's probably uh, not a bad idea, actually. Damon, please join me. We are moving to Sunspear. We're going down to Sunspear, boys. 
I'm gonna kick some Dornish ass. Inspiring leader, is that my one of my traits? Oh, that's cool. Lightfoot leader, inspiring leader. Oh, that's cool. We're moving down through the Dornish desert, all the way down to Sunspear. We're slowly being joined by more and more people, although it's still quite a small army. I think it's uh, it's something we should do. We should deal with this treasonous Dornish woman once and for all, and give her land to a black fire. Yes, people, please join me. Everybody who can, please join me. Deploy Dragon and Siege will wait with that until we have a little bit more troops. 10,000. There's another 10,000 coming, another 13,000. We will, we will besiege Sunspear. It's the last thing I ever do. Prince of Dorn. Oh, he, uh, ooh, okay. Quentin of Pep. Oh, he's, uh, he's imprisoned. By me. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Alright, he joined my my war, I guess. I don't know if he will now count as a traitor or not. Anyway, we, I think we seem to have won the war. I don't know exactly what happened there. I guess maybe just because she died and, uh, and, and got removed from the war, that probably switched. Yeah, of course, that um, she was occupying Dragonstone, the Dornish were. And when, uh, when she died and uh, was removed from the war... Um, all those occupations were lifted, so that's probably what won us. But how did she die? Died of too much drinking. I, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I almost... I almost broke my microphone there. <laughs> I hung... Uh, I almost pulled it off the table. <laughs> but, but it's alive. Thank God. Uh, it was not that expensive, I guess, but uh, still. I would have had to bought it, buy a new one and uh, it's Christmas, so if you want to order anything online, that's going to take weeks. So I'm glad that uh, that we managed that, but we did win the war against our boy Aegon. It was a lot harder than I thought. It took us four long years of uh, brutal fighting. Tens of thousands of men have lost their lives, but we have uh, shown ourselves to be a very competent general. We have, uh, of course, trained our dragon, who is now almost 10 martial, so we can continue to harness the military energy of the Iron Throne, but we will move it outward towards the filthy free cities. But first of all, uh, the rule against King Jaehaerys the Indolent. My boy Aegon, you lost your war, man. You lost it. You lost that war. I won the war, yes. Uh, to assuage any doubt, I hereby adopt the arms and words of my ancestor, Prince Jeanette Martel. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. Who is your heir? It's also a Martel. Yeah, this is the, the Pep dynasty. Um, can we can we declare war on you? Can we revoke your title? Probably not right. Mm -hmm. Call for trial. Let's let's wait let's wait for that. Maybe we might want to call him for trial later. Let him bend the knee. No 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 no. Forfeit the stormlands. Who are you? Brightwater? Yeah, you can bend the knee, I guess. Or parent of the North. Will we go after Rickard Karstark? I mean, now is the time, I think. Because most of most of his vessels seem to have joined us. Why am I Mendeley? Harlan Mendeley has joined us. He will forfeit the North. He may rebel. That's fine, I think. Yep. We're gonna go for that. Thank you, Jerry's England. Has usurped the title King of the Stormlands from Aegon the Merciless? Yes, thank you. Yeah, the North has declared War of Northern Independence. People, we're going to go after the North. We're going to deal with them once and for all. Aegon Baratheon is complaining about his dark cells in the dungeon. Let him rot. You prick. Give me give me your titles. Non-aggression pact, really? We Are we in non-aggression pact with you? Why? Uh, Prince Jacaris and Talena. Can we not can we not break that? Surely we can. I guess maybe because we're at war, yeah. yeah. Let's wait with that for a while then. We'll go after the north first. Uh, we will have another chance to show off our military glory. Um my troops though are all the way down in Dorn. So let's raise some boats. People, please raise some boats. We'll pick up our troops down south here in Dorn. And move up north to deal with the northern traitor. People. 
We're going after the north. I don't care what you think. We're gonna do it. Lord Lucas of Dorne, she wants to buy his freedom. My cousin for uh, 110 gold. I guess that's fine. That's worth it. You will keep your husband in prison for now, though. Neraitos is proving to be a somewhat cautious and elusive. When she's in the wild, it's hard to track her down again. And she seems most displeased when in the company of other men and dragons. Force her into melees and hunts. Hmm. I will try and introduce her to other creatures. We don't want her to be shy. Force her into melees and hunts, yeah. Oh, she's still shy, okay. It's a pretty weak dragon, actually. The shy is probably not conducive to her combat ability, right? This new dragon is a notably shy dragon who avoids men and their works. Okay, well, whatever. Um, is it only the north we're fighting? Yeah, good. That's good. We will deal with uh, with those guys. Excellent. Uh, my cousin Larissa executed. Oh, you are you are you a dead man, Rickard? You're a dead man. <laughs> you prick. You murdered a Blackfire. We will never forgive you for this. Uh, let's lower our army and re-raise it. Over in King's Landing. And have our boats f uh, uh, boats go over to the north. Excellent news. Some money. Who is joining me though? Damon of the Reach. Uh, Torben of the Iron Okay, Everybody. Okay. I think we will be more than fine then. Craven Larissa Blackfire is filled to answer my call to arms. Larissa Blackfire of what? Of the Trident. You're, you're that in suspicious circumstances, okay. She's married to a a bastard, Blackfire. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> we have no real time to deal with all this though. We are at war. This is a war every episode. Lady Shira is hiring men for an attack against me. This is the ex wife. The wife of uh, Dagar of the, the Riverlands. She is going for after my titles, huh? Well, let's let's just deal with the North quickly then. So that we can deal with her afterwards. Yeah, it seems most of the North has joined our side. So that's good at least. We'll give the North to somebody else again. Maybe, uh, maybe a black fire. This war will deepen my love. I will resist temptation. It was a necessary one, but my heart is aching worse than any wounds the war might, have, might inflict upon me. Simply by being separated from my love. Ah, that's cute. So is this temptation? Yeah, this one will deepen my love. Alison, my daughter, will be educated at the court. Basic equipment. I have no time to spend with for you uh, on your child. Let's smoke move up to Winterfell and besiege Winterfell. Immediately. Uh, Prudence of Dorn. Uh, put her in a secure take her cap take her take the captive back to her quarters, yeah. That's all fine. If, uh, if if they release themselves, that's fine. But for now, I think it's good to have them as a hostage to make sure the Dornish don't join the enemy. Uh, I've come for justice. Right of birth and blood, I demand tribal combat. No. No. Fuck you. Stay in prison. You want to re revoke your title later. Should be a master of strategy. People, we're going to besiege Winterfell. And I will hear no more of it. Every person in the north, every able-bodied man... To join me at Winterfell, because we need to end this war as soon as we can. Where are you though? Are you in Winterfell? Being troops in East Melt. Where's that? Is it far away? Not much. Not not very far away. Is this him? There's no crown there. The Dreadford. Yeah, I think it's him. We might want to intercept him then. Ethering is going. My man, where are you going? We want to intercept you in Dawn Forest. Yes. Intercept him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill this man. Uh, my brother's sister Vesera is still not married. Uh, we will we will deal with that later. No incumbent separate from the crown. This man wants to be the Lord of the Stormlands. Nope. Leave me alone, man. We are fighting a war over here. We should end it soon, though. Is this guy still um, still leading that army? Hey, reigning in Winterfell. Okay, let's intercept him in Winterfell then. Please stay in Winterfell. You stay here. We want to capture you. Leading troops in Winterfell. Oh, that's fine. Raining in Winterfell. Yeah, yep. Uh, I would like to politely remind, remind you of the gold that the something owns my house. Sure, here you go. I, don't, I didn't know we owed, we owed you money. Let's storm the place. Oh, we can storm the place, I guess. We can deploy the dragon in the siege. Let's try that. I've not done that yet. Septon. Man, this is this is a adrenaline 
heavy episode, guys. <laughs> I feel the heart pounding here. Uh, we should lower our levies. That's why I like to play wars on speed 5. <laughs> it's just more exciting that way. Um, deploy the dragon in the siege. Sure, we will do it. Uh, with defending troops, gain minus 25 morale. 5% 5 5 chance of maimed. 10% chance of wounded. Let's do it. Wounded. Wow. Just my luck. Okay, fine. <laughs> this was a tiny dragon anyway, so it makes some sense, I guess. Uh, nope. We will give the Stormlands out to somebody else. Get out of here. <coughs> I caused him Atari's black fight out of poor health at the wall. Okay. <laughs> uh, light food is probably the fine. We almost won this, guys. Just let me win this. He's at 50%. Almost siege down Winterfell. This guy wants... Uh, no. We, can, uh, we, can't, uh, we can't give you trial by combat. Sorry, man. I want to call you for a regular trial. Can we do that already? Let's see. Call Quentin Martell for trial. Just wait a while. We'll deal with these guys later. Clap. King Rickard, Rickard in irons and leave the rest. Yes, please. Of a peace. Enforce demands. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, finally. Finally, he will forfeit the north. Give me the north, bro. We'll also seize you. Seize the lordship of Winterfell. Thank you. <laughs> Can we see something else from him? No, I guess not. We will give it to... Oh, this guy, yeah, of course. Uh, Melis is dead. We can't give it to him, I guess. Okay, let's wait for the realm to get back together. And we will divvy up the titles. Can we do that this episode still? Or next episode? I think next episode. I think I, I kind of want to hear you guys input on because uh, we will be, we will soon be able to can we already revoke it yes i'm not the high lordship i just want storm's end you hold storm's end right don't you yeah revoke title ah oh, that's bullshit that's some bullshit i'm gonna i'm gonna console cheat that we, we want storm's end all right i think we're we're gonna leave it at that for now but let's just wait for the realm to get back together Yes, I think we will leave it at that for now. Next episode, we have a chance to give away the Stormlands and the North. We, then we only have Dorne left and we kind of... Yeah, I'm, it's a bit of a shame we can't call this guy for trial, but I guess he didn't really do anything. <laughs> Does not have the character modifier getting justice. Expires uh, in September. Mm, okay, I think maybe we will wait for that. I'm in court as the accused, am I? Is he? I don't think so. Oh well, we will deal with that uh, in the next episode. We will grant the Stormlands to someone. Uh, for example, Jacaris, who is now in Landed. We could give it to Daemon. Uh, we could give it to a Stark. We, uh, we do have some uh, some Stark claimants now at, uh, in the north, I think. We could give it to another Brethian, because the Brethian ha Brethians have been quite loyal to us. Uh, with the exception, of course, of the guy who we just, uh, <laughs> we just defeated. Uh, we could give it maybe to Edric Brethian, for example, here. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm open to, open to suggestions. I, uh, I'm leaning towards giving it all to Blackfires <laughs> to uh, to achieve our goal of having the whole Seven Kingdoms controlled by Blackfires. But uh, I'm happy to let you guys uh, make some suggestions. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.